Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel. As the video title shows, today I am doing my everyday makeup look. This is the look I'm gonna be doing today for you guys. You guys have requested this, or like my makeup look so much over the last few months, couple years, I don't know. My makeup has pretty much stayed the same. I've, you know, I've discovered things, what works for my, my features and my skin and stuff as I've gotten older. And I feel like your makeup just gets better and better as you as you age, because you find what works and what doesn't. And I basically do the same thing every day. I swip up, switch up like lipstick and eyeshadow a tad little bit, uh, but for the most part, it is relatively the same. And you guys have been asking me uh, to give you a little tutorial for quite a while. And I think this makeup look is great uh, for the season because people are going back to school, back to work. Uh, this is just a great wearable everyday makeup look. So I'm gonna call this my everyday back to school makeup look, um, but it's just really great for if you don't wanna wear, feel like you're wearing a lot of makeup and you just wanna enhance your features. I think this is a really great look and I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. I am by no means a makeup beauty guru, if that's still a thing on YouTube, um, but this is just what I do and you guys have requested it. So let's hop right in into the video. Okay, so first thing I do before I actually put my makeup on is I will prep my skin. Uh, so I'll use just like a gentle cleanser. This is a Juice Beauty one. And then I have just a couple moisturizers that I use. I use this blue chamomile eye cream by Luminance. I've been using it for years, as, as well as their uh, facial hydration moisturizer. And I will link all the products that I use for my skin um, before I do my makeup. And then I also have a full skincare routine video. If you guys are interested, I will link that down below. Next thing I'm gonna do is just clip my hair back with this little alligator clip so I don't get makeup all over my face. I usually have like side swept look, so I'm gonna put that aside. Um, so for concealer, uh, I'm wanting to try to find a more natural brand with a lot of my makeup items, but these are just things that I love and until I find something that replaces it to the T, I'm sticking with it. First thing I use is this NARS like creamy concealer. This is in the color medium one custard. I feel like a beauty guru. And I just repurchased this because as you can see, this is an old package and I was like scraping the barrel with this one. Okay, so first thing I do is I'm just gonna dab, I guess I'll look at you guys first. I'm just gonna dab it underneath my eye. And any like spots that I feel like are discolored or I have scarring, um, you know, we're not going to get too crazy. I always get like the little dark spots, like right in the eye duct area. I don't know what you call that. And then I have my little beauty blender here that looks really dirty, um, but I promise it's clean. And I just uh, ran it under some water to get it nice and wet. You want to make sure that your beauty blender is wet because it's just going to soak up all the product if it's not. So I'm just going to blend this out. And you can do this with your fingers if you want. Um, I did that yesterday, but I'm just gonna do it with the Beauty Blender. I find this just like helps it blend right in. All right, so that's the concealer. Uh, and next I'm gonna put, I'm gonna set it with, ooh, I just bought a new one as well of uh, my Tarte. This is the Amazonian clay full coverage airbrush foundation it's quite a mouthful and i use the color light medium beige and i just finished it as well you know your concealer and foundation usually finish i guess at the same time when i bought my first one i bought the little kabuki brush and it was the best thing ever because it picks up the product so well so you're just gonna tap it in tap some off this one's a new one so there's a lot of product so i gotta be careful not to go overboard so I'm just gonna kind of sweep it across my face, set the under eye concealer and all that jazz. And it's just gonna kind of even my skin tone out and I'm just like buffing it in. Making sure to go down the neck. No one wants a, a mask. All right, that looks about right. So I only use a tiny bit. I really like the powder foundations. They just, this one in particular sits really well on my skin. Okay, next up, I'm gonna just start prepping my eyelids and I will usually use a primer if I want my makeup to last all day. We're filming some other videos after this one, uh, so I want it to last and then we're going out tonight to go see my family and stuff. So it's just gonna be um, a long day and I want my makeup to last. So this is the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion Powder stuff. Uh, I've been using this, I have this tube um, from a very long time ago and I just use the tiniest amount 
and I just dot it on my eyelid and this stuff is amazing. I would love to find a natural uh, eyeshadow primer once this one is done and I would love your suggestions if you guys have any good ones for any replacements of the products I'm using please leave them down below. So I'm gonna let that sit while I do my eyebrows. Okay, so for brows, I've been loving this Eco Brow one here. It's kind of like a pomade, and I'll do some close-up shots. Uh, but yeah, this is in the color Sharon. It's a light, it's for light brunette, and it's a defining wax, it says. And then I'm just gonna use this MAC brush, 266 angled one here. And I think you can use this for eyeliner. I'm gonna use it for my brows. And this like eye sh or eyebrow stuff has lasted me so long. I bought it last summer. And I actually need to get my eyebrows done. I usually will get them waxed and tinted uh, just because I have fair, kind of lighter hair for a Portuguese girl, to be honest. I usually get them colored or tinted, I mean, but I still will do this, uh, do my eyebrows, like fill them in. And I don't know about you guys, but like I have this one girl I go to for my eyebrows and like I won't let anyone else touch them. I'm just, I like, I barely pluck them. Even when they get really bad, I'll pluck a couple, but I'm like, I don't want to touch them. You know, I'm not an eyebrow expert. I don't want to mess around. And then once I'm done that, I have an old one of the Anastasia eyebrow guys. And I'm just gonna use the little spoolie to kind of brush out the color, blend it in a bit. And I will link all the products that I'm using down below in the info box in case you want to check them out. Um, but yeah, that's what I use for my eyebrows. Okay, now it's time for eyeshadow. And for eyeshadow, I really only have two palettes, to be honest. I have the old original Naked palette, and then I have the Tarte, I think this is like the Noir, Energy Noir uh, palette. This is the one I usually have been gravitating towards. As we get into fall and stuff, I probably will go more towards this one, but this is what I've been using for quite a long time now. And that's, I feel like this is the palette I use when you guys ask me what my makeup look is. I will show, I'll show close-ups of the colors I'm using. I'm gonna basically use this light color in the corner and I always like, I tap it off. And I'm just gonna start in the corner here. I usually, to be honest, I just kind of brush it all over. And that's like my base is always like a light cream color. So then for, uh, I'm gonna go in the crease here. There's this like taupey color I use here. And I really like this one just for going into the crease with. It's really neutral looking. It's great for brunettes. I feel like it'd be good for, you know, actually any eye color. Uh, this is a very neutral look. So I'm just gonna kind of like blend it right into the crease. It's all about the blending is what I hear from the makeup artist. I'm gonna take a little bit of this like shim champagne shimmer color and I'm just gonna tap it underneath my eyebrows just to give like some, some eyebrow definition. And sometimes I'll take that little bit and put it in the tear ducts, in our tear duct, tear ducts of my eyes, I don't know. So next I'm gonna take this Tarte shadow brush. I don't know what it's called, but it has like two ends to it. One I never use. It's just kind of like a short, like, I don't know, short, stubby eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna just do a combination of like the taupey color and this dark brown color, and I'm gonna smudge it at the bottom of my eyelash, what, eyelash line? Um, and this is like what I'll do for daytime when I don't really wanna wear black eyeliner. I remember the days when I would just line my entire the entire perimeter of my eyeball with black, like the darkest, smudgiest black eyeliner and I thought it looked so good. I just like keeping it really natural and soft and not closing it in all the way because otherwise your eye looks smaller. Yeah, this is what I like. And then I'll do the same thing at the top. If you want to take the lighter color, you can go into the, the corner with it just to kind of blend the two together. That's basically my eyeshadow, keeping it really simple, no eyeliner. Okay, so we should finish, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth, but this is actually what I do in real life. So uh, now that my eyeshadow is done, I'm just going to um, sweep any like stuff that's fallen underneath my eye. And for bronzer, I'm just gonna put a little bit because to be honest, it's like, 
summertime. I've gotten a lot of color. I feel like I just want to define a little bit. So I'm using the Too Faced, uh, this is their like the Chocolate Soleil uh, bronzer. I like it, but I find it's a little bit, I don't know if it's ready for me, like too red, I don't know. But I like the Hula one by Benefit, but I'm also looking for a more natural bronzer. So I'm just gonna tap it in and kind of suck in my cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna do temples. And I'm also gonna do my jaw. And I'm just, this is why I love the Beauty Blender because it kind of just blends everything in. And I'm kind of using the angle of the end of the, the tip of the Beauty Blender. Okay, and then sides of the nose. Okay, so that is the extent of my contouring. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use this Tarte one. Uh, it's called Captivating, and it is their Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. I'm just gonna use this with, so I use, as you can see, by the color that's stained, I use the bottom for blush, so I'm just gonna tap that in, and I'm gonna smile and look weird on camera as I tap in my blush. So I'm just going on like the apples of my cheeks. Uh, and I'm just gonna take um, the, on the tip of my beauty blender because it has like the fan, the concealer from earlier and I'm just gonna kind of blend everything in sort of thing okay so if I want my makeup to really last all day I know this is like my everyday makeup look but still if you want it to last all day I will use the Laura Mercier uh, pressed or the translucent loose setting powder and I just bought the like the small travel size version of this. It was like $30, I thought it was kind of pricey. It's lasted me so long. Like I use the tiniest bit and I'm just gonna use this like mini short like Eco Tools blush brush. And I'm just gonna sweep it under my eyes so you don't get any like stuff falling into thin line or fine lines. And it just sets everything so when it's hot out or you're sweating, it, your makeup doesn't move, which I love. So I'm just gonna kind of do oop, my T-zone. And it just, I don't know, it's amazing. I love it. Okay, so before I actually do my mascara or my lipstick, I'm just gonna set all this uh, powder stuff with some rose water. This is the Luminance one. People use like makeup setting sprays, um, but to be honest, like I just feel like it's just more stuff to put on your face. And I like rose water. I feel like it just refreshes everything, melts everything into your skin and it sets it. So I'm just gonna close my eyes and do a couple mists. Whew. I'm just gonna dry it with my hands here. Okay, so for eyelashes, I'm just gonna use my curler, which is kind of breaking, but this is the Tarte one, just like the rubber thing keeps wanting to pop out. Um, but I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I just like get as close as I can and do a couple squeezes, and you instantly have uh, flared eyelashes. For mascara, I use, I keep it pretty simple for mascara. I don't spend a lot of money on it. This is the Maybelline, uh, the Falsies Volume Express one. I just bought a new one. Okay, so I'm just gonna probably not talk for the next minute as I apply this, because I feel like you gotta concentrate when you put mascara on. I'm probably making the weirdest faces right now. Okay, so I'm gonna let the top ones dry and then I'll just kind of quickly do the bottom ones. If you try to do them too quick and you're impatient, you're gonna get mascara all on the top of your lid. And I won't dip it back in because I like just the leftover just to do the bottoms. Um, otherwise, you're gonna get too much product on them. Okay, I'm gonna look up and just lightly do the bottom ones. All right, mascara is done. Okay, so I think the last thing to do is lips. And for lips, I always make sure to put on a good lip balm. This is one actually my aunt has been testing out and I love it. Mm. I don't know exactly what's in it, but it's like a bunch of all natural ingredients, which is really awesome. So I'm like a huge lip balm person. I always have to have lip balm with me and especially under lipstick has to have some moisturizing lip balm. I will usually put lip balm on and then I just kind of tap some off on the back of my palm. And for lips, uh, you guys have been asking what this color is for the past few weeks on social media and my videos and stuff. So I thought I would bring it out for today's video. Uh, this is the, 
pink is the color wiped off oh it's bare b-a-r-e and it's the tarte what is this lip surgeons matte lip tint i have a few of these i think i have three they're amazing like they just they I don't know they don't transfer they look matte as the name says and they just look really natural like this one I feel like you can tell I'm wearing lip stuff but it doesn't look like whoa intense it goes really well with like a more natural makeup look so if you're not a huge lipstick wearer I think you'll like this one and the texture is so creamy They're almost just like an enhancement of your natural lip color, like depending on how um, uh, pigment you put, like how much you put on. All right, I'm gonna remove this. I think we're good. Is there anything else I'm missing? All right, guys, there you have it. There's my makeup look for every day, for back to school, work, whatever you gotta do. I think this makeup look uh, is really versatile and uh, it's just very wearable. Like it doesn't feel like a lot of makeup and uh, it just I don't know I think it just enhances your natural features which I really like I will sometimes do a more dramatic look if I am going out so let me know if you guys want to see that look um, and if you guys enjoy these more beauty tutorial videos give me let me know down below in the comments give this video a big thumbs up uh, give me your feedback so that way I know if I should do more of these I've done a hair tutorial one which I will link down below as well and I like I said all the products will be listed down below um, and if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram I'm on there basically every day I post behind the scenes snippets of my life of what I'm doing outside of YouTube so that's where you guys all, like always ask for recommendations or what lipstick am I wearing and things like that so if you want to see more beauty stuff I do post um, kind of like lifestyle photos on there as well so what I'm wearing and, and if you ever have a question about a product I'm using I'm always pretty responsive in the comments so thank you so much guys for watching I love you so so much and I think we just, by the time this video goes up, we have hit 250,000 subscribers, which is insane. We are halfway to half a million, which like, whoa, <laughs> crazy. So thank you so much guys for all your continued support and uh, enough blabbering. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.